welcome back guys in today's video i will be looking at how to specify a base point and a uh, base point in autocad is very important because pretty much most of the basic functions move copy rotate requires that we specify a base point and uh what i have discovered is that a number of students don't fully understand the principle of a base point and how to choose or select a base point that will allow them to snap onto whichever point that they want. So what's a base point? A base point is basically it's a contact point. It's a it's a point where in which we choose to align with some other snappable point on the drawing. Uh, say for example I wish to place I wish to move this 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 t stiffener here to into this spot right here all right a uh, suitable base point would be would be here a base point could be here at this point because this point could snap onto this point so if i snap specify here as a base point so in, in this case i would type m for move enter the command bar will then ask me to specify a base point. I could choose either here, this point, or this point. Either of this point could align the stiffener in here. Now, if I choose this as my base point, I would need to select here as my other point. I would need to stop onto this point to align the stiffener into that wall. In like manner, if I was to choose here as my base point, I would need to choose to stop onto this point, to match onto this. If I choose here as my base point, and I was to click onto this, what would happen is that this would fall out here. Yeah? And of course, we do not want that, right? So choosing a base point is very very important that's one next example say for example i wish to place this l stiffener this l stiffener um probably say at this car at this corner at this corner here All right uh in this case i have two options i could choose here as my base point or I could choose here as my base point. Now, if I choose here as my base point, which of these would be my snappable or my, my destination point for this one? Pause the video and tell me in the comment section. If I choose here, where which of these snap at the point would be ideal in order to align this like that if you say a yes you're correct if you say b let's see why you're not so correct if we click here as a base point and we click here this would snap on the outside which is not exactly what we want in this case right However, if we had chosen here as our base point and we, we snap onto this, this would then fit into that space. All right. Copyish. Copyish. Now, what if I wish to place this window at the midpoint between this section here i want it to be someplace here exactly there where would be an ideal base point and uh please take note that whenever you're drawing it is very important that you activate your midpoint very very important uh in a, in a subsequent video i i um showed you guys Five, five very important object snaps that are needed when you join AutoCAD. You need endpoint, midpoint. 
So always turn on your midpoint. It's very important. Now, just in case your midpoint is not on, simply type O snap O S N A P enter, and uh, it will take you to the snap snap setting. Drop down, drop down um, dialog box. Simply tick midpoint, and then you'll be good to go. That being done, we wish to align this window in the middle of this point right here. Remember that uh, points tend to snap onto object or figures tend to snap onto the, either the end point, middle point, or any other point that you have activated. It is important to note that you should not activate commands or snaps that you do not need or that are not necessarily necessary for that particular drawing. What that does is that that causes problem. It causes problem in that um, when, when too many snap settings are active, it will all of them will, will, be, will, be, will, be, will, be, will be competing mm -hmm. for a snap. And you might find that you intend to snap at this point, but it's not to some other input, some, some other point which you really don't want. So, rule for thought: only turn on those snap settings that are absolutely necessary for that join. All right. Now back to this. I have this, and I wish to align this here. I would choose either move or copy. I will then click here as my base point, my base point, and where should I choose as my, well, if I choose here as my base point, I would then do it, I would then click here, and as you move towards the center, you will see that green triangle, green or blue triangle popping up. You simply click there, this will fall in place. No question. What would be the likely effect if I had chosen here as my base point? So I want to move this object or copy. I type CO for copy or M for move. The command bar prompts me to select my object. I selected my object. It then says specify your base point. What would be the likely effect if I choose here as my base point? Hmm? What will happen in that case is that it will be difficult to find to uh, to snap onto the midpoint between mid midpoint between here. Why? Because the midpoint for this line is someplace down, would be someplace here. So it will tend to want to snap either onto this point here, onto this mid midpoint here, or onto the end point. So that might be a challenge. In that case, you would need to type no M2P wouldn't even work there either. So that would definitely pose some challenge if you were to choose here as a midpoint. Next question. What would be the likely effect if you were to choose here, the middle, as the, as, as, um, the base point? So we choose here as the base point and we try to stop onto this. Voila. That's exactly what would happen. Yeah, uh, you know, this would not effectively align to where we want it to. So choosing the correct base point, very important. Now, what if we want to first align, we want to, to place a window in the middle of this window. So this window is here. We want to insert this window midway of this distance. We would then type move or copy, select our object. We would then move, move on it. To, the command bar would then tell us to instruct us to specify the base point. In this case, we want a midpoint between here and there, right? And we want to align this someplace in the middle down here because this is a uh, Larger window. Well, I'm looking for a larger mm -hmm. window. So this is our window. This is the window that we want. Yeah, this large window we want. We want this window along here. 
technically the window would be placed in front of the wall now, but you understand what I mean. We want this here. Where would be our base point? Right here. Yeah, right here. So we then click here as a base point, then move, snap onto here, and this would fall right in place there. Yep. And that's pretty much all there is for um base point movements and um insertion. That's pretty much all there is. We have to look on the figure, see where we should align and choose a corresponding point that will allow the, uh, the figure to fit or align correctly. That's all there is for baseline. Remember guys, you don't need to be good to start, but you must start to be good. And it's okay to fail. It's okay to fail. The most successful persons in the world are the ones who fail the most. So keep on trying. Try to try and fail, but do not fail to try. All right? Positive thoughts produces positive results. Negative thoughts, negative results. Keep it positive. Peace out.